Hello, welcome back to another one of Zug's guides on Broadside Gaming. Uh, hopefully you've liked my guide so far, and if you do, please guys, like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. It really, really helps, and it motivates me to make more videos. I'm probably not even halfway through all of the guides yet, so, you know, come on, give me some more motivation. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at the Bounty Hunter. Uh, it is my, the second career that I play on Saltspire. Uh, I actually played this one first before I started playing the Witch Hunter Captain and found out I liked that a lot more. But the Bounty Hunter is really, really good. And uh, I'm going to show you why. So let's have a look at the uh, talent build first. So this is the setup I'm using. Tithe Taker, melee killing blows restore temporary health based on the health of the slain enemy. You know, temp health, always good. Uh, open Wounds. Critical hits cause the enemy to take 20% increased damage for a short duration. Does not stack with similar effects. Um, so this basically gives you the same passive as the Witch Hunter Captain when you tag something. But obviously this doesn't work with the tag, this works with a crit. But it, it generally works in the same combination. And I'm going to show you why I'm using Open Wounds and not Weighted Fire. Um... So weighted fire would be if you're using brace of pistols or uh, the griffin foot handguns. But for this build I'm using the crossbow because I like to play the bounty hunter as a sniper. So for this open wounds is uh, the best one to go for. Now there are two ways you can do this build. You can go either assassin or enhanced power. I don't like the enhanced power route. I always go for the assassin route. And it's not so much about the first part of it, the deal 20% more damage to staggered enemies, it's about headshots and crits, uh, crit hits instead inflict 40% bonus damage. That is the thing we want and what we're looking for. Next one, Cruel Fortune, reduces the cooldown of Blessed Shot by 6 seconds, no brainer. Your ultimate is a big press F to fuck off button. So, and uh, we'll be, I'll be showcasing it a little bit more in a minute if you've not seen it, but you probably have. But uh, we'll have a little chat about that in a bit. Next up is job well done. Killing an elite or special grants you 1% damage reduction buff, stacking up to 30 times. This is really good. But it's a lot better when you start getting more used to the class. So that you can basically get the 30 kills and keep it running for the entire map. So you have 30% damage reduction. Because as soon as you die, it wipes the slate clean you've got to start again. So once you get better at the class, this thing is amazing. Uh, killing an enemy while out of any mission resource it's, it's, uh, again this is more for the griffin foot or the brace of pistols you, for this build you don't need salvage any mission or rail the mob it's, rail the mob is just a bit of shit in my opinion and salvage any ammunition is for the other build that I'm going to be talking about in another video this build we're just going to focus on uh, the assassin basically this is the assassin build and finally uh Double shotted. Modifies Victor sidearms to fire two powerful bullets in a straight line. Scoring a headshot with this attack reduces the cooldown of lock and load by 40%. Now this, this is the core of the build for using your ultimate. Right? So what you want to be doing is getting your ultimate, aim for the face, and whatever was in front of you fucks off. So as I said before, press F to fuck off. Obviously you can use this to just get rid of a Chaos Knight or a Storm Vermin, it's a little bit wasteful. Because for a Storm Vermin you can just hack it in the face a couple of times and it's gone. But for like multiple Chaos Knights or anything, just aim high, aim for the face, and that thing's gone. And as you can see down at the bottom, my ultimate bar, it's it, it barely drained it. One thing I would like to touch on this, if you are playing the Bounty Hunter, for the love of fucking God, do not use your ultimate and shoot through another team member because you will kill them. And it's fucking irritating, basically. You, I, uh, early today I was playing with a Bounty Hunter and they shot through me while I was playing the Hand Maiden on the last boss of Into the Nest. They shot through me and our Sienna in one hit killed both of us and fucked the run. So, for the love of 
all that is shiny and holy in the fucking world. Choose your shots carefully. And if you have to, sidestep and then take your shot. Do not shoot through your teammates. Because, one, it makes you look like a dick. Two, they will all call you a dick. So yeah, my little rant about the bounty hunter ability. But other than that, it's a really good ability. You can basically delete bosses. Especially like into the nest. Uh, not so much on Hell Scourge, because Burble's View Hell Scourge is a dick. And he'll jump around and it's quite difficult to get a headshot on him. Just because he teleports a lot. So, after that little ramble, let's have a look at the gear. Uh, so I'm using the Falchion. As you may have known from my other videos, I favour the Falchion. But you can uh, use the Axe and Falchion or the Bill Hook with this. So with the Falchion, I'm running Crit Chance and Block Construction with Swift Slaying. So all pretty standard. But if I wanted to use the Action Falchion, I'd change the Crit to Attack Speed. And with the Bill Hook, the same, I would change the Crit to Attack Speed. Now with the Crossbow, I'm using Power vs. Monsters and Power vs. Skaven with Conservative Shooter. On this, you want to change Power vs. Monsters to Power vs. Armor. I've made a very large mistake, and I didn't realize until before I just made the video, I accidentally destroyed my Bounty Hunter's Crossbow. Oh, I must have salvaged it at some point, because this is my uh, Witch Hunter Captain Crossbow. So what you want is Power vs. Armored and Power vs. Skaven. Right, so moving on to the neck, we're using Health and we're using Block Cost Reduction with Boon of Shalia. Again, you don't want to be taking too many hits, so Bark Skin, mm, I would advise against it and go for Boon of Shalia. For the Charm, we're going Power vs. Chaos and Power vs. Inventory with Decanter. Increases duration of potions by 50%. Obviously, you want that on the uh, Bounty Hunter because you want comp pots and you want to get as much out of them as you can. And now for the trinket, uh, again, it's a legend trinket I'm running, curse resistance and crit chance with shrapnel. Uh, you know, shrapnel is just amazing for melting bosses and monsters. Obviously, if you're going into uh, Kata, you want to get rid of the curse resistance for probably uh, stamina recovery. So, that is pretty much the Bounty Hunter build. And of course, I'm wearing the obligatory stupid skull helmet. Yeah, but um, I really like this build. It's very good. It's really nice for just sniping. And obviously, the axe and fal the axe, oh, the falchion, is my one of my favourite weapons on the witch under captain. Oh god, I can't even get the class right. Sorry guys, my brain is just absolutely melted. Um, the falchion is one of my favourite characters. Favorite weapons on Victor Saltspire. All right, words I can actually words, but as I said, you can use the axe and falchion and the bill hook for this. They all work pretty similarly. So, hopefully, um, you've enjoyed my guide. And uh, if you have, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll be posting some more guides up as soon as possible. And I apologise uh, profusely for basically losing my mind at the end of that video. I just can't words at the moment, apparently. So. I shall catch you guys later. See you later.